playing around. We've been building Battlefield games for quite some time and it, it, it feels like the interest has actually been increasing more and more. Uh, the awareness of the brand has actually you know, exploded with Battlefield Bad Company 2 and now when we release Battlefield 3 people seem to already know about it even before we announced it. So it, it, it felt uh, like a natural thing uh, to just you know, keep feeding people the Battlefield games that they apparently want to see. We're not trying to build you know, another game than a Battlefield game. You know, we want this to be the best Battlefield game that we have ever built and, uh, and looking at what uh, different franchises are doing, we're doing something quite different. Just the fact that we have vehicles in our experience is, is more or less unheard of in other games. We also have the destruction layers that no one else has that actually changes the way you play the game. It's, it's a, actually a strategic choice rather than just eye candy. So there are some things that we are doing and have been doing for quite some time that no one else is doing. We don't want to go political, we don't want to go religious or anything. You know, We're trying to stay away from real life conflicts. Uh, uh, but we still want the game to feel authentic, so if there are resemblances then of course because you know there are wars in some parts of the world and you might feel like there's a resemblance, but we are trying to create fiction and entertainment. We're not trying to create controversy uh, because you know controversy is often the thing you pull when you feel like you don't have a good enough game. Uh, so we're trying to stay away from that, making sure that uh, you, you can feel uh, familiar with locations and, and what's happening, but it shouldn't be based on real-time events. I think the formula for any Battlefield game is, is first of all, the, the balance uh, that we have between our, all our classes. You know, Battlefield Bad Company 2 is a great example of an almost perfectly balanced game where, where you get not only points for sh you know, shooting people, but also for doing supportive action. So the whole team play aspect is very important, even if you're a lone wolf. Then you have the, the, the angle of vehicles, because vehicles are always been important for all Battlefield games and will so still be so in Battlefield 3. And then of course we've added the layer of destruction which actually is a, is a game changer because it actually changes the way you play a match. You can actually change uh, the circumstances for all players on the map by just you know, shooting the right targets. So I think those three things are, are you know, hallmarks for the Battlefield the series. The, har the hardest thing with, with having all these features like destruction is, is to find the right balance. It's not about just throwing things in there because it's a gimmick. It's actually supposed to change the way you play the game. And destruction is a good example. You know, we need to be very cautious on how much destruction uh, so you don't break the actual gameplay. Uh, but also from a technical standpoint, you need to find the right balance between the amount of players, amount of vehicles, and then of course destructibility and rendering quality. So there's a lot of things to, to keep in mind when you build a Battlefield game. The engine is, is actually built from, from ground up to, to fit all platforms that we're focusing on. Everything from PC to Xbox to, to PS3. So, so uh, the goal is to use the same core mechanics, both the animation system, the rendering, everything is the same on all platforms. Uh, and it scales really, really well. We have we haven't shown uh, any console footage yet, but we will very, very soon. So I hope people will trust us on that. We won't have a lesser experience on the consoles than on PC.